Hello everyone, I am Renown Zero. We are back again talking about this lawsuit that Nintendo has filed against the Power World developer Pocket Pair over some patents that were put out by Nintendo and the developers have obviously responded. But of course, not before in giving, you know, Nintendo a big ol' F you because they will continue to keep developing the game as they're going through this garbage lawsuit that I feel will be a nothing burger. However, this is what they've said about their game model recently. It says, regarding the future of Power World TLDR, we are not changing our game's business model. It will remain buy-to-play and not free-to-play or games-as-a-service. I actually think that's great that it's not going to be a games-as-a-service. Live service games are seem to be DOA lately when they're not done properly. Just look at Concord. Recently, an article was published in which we discussed the possible future direction of Power World and ideas for continuing the game for a long time. In fact, this interview was conducted several months ago. At that time, we were still considering the best way forward for Power World to create a long-lasting game that continues to grow. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep adding more content. That's all that really matters. We are still discussing this internally as it is quite challenging to find the ideal path, but we have decided that the free-to-play slash games-as-a-service approach is not suitable for us. Power World was never designed with that model in mind, and it would require too much work to adapt the game at this point. Additionally, we are very aware that this just isn't what our players want, and we always want to put our players first. I'm glad you guys realize that over many other companies that seem to be just pandering to people rather than pandering to the actual players of the game and not people that just want a virtue signal on Twitter. We are still considering skins and DLC for Power World and Future as a means to support development, but we will discuss this with you all again as we get closer to that point. For now, our priority remains making Power World the best game possible on all platforms, hopefully on all platforms. Right now it's on PC and Xbox. Obviously it's on Xbox Game Pass. We apologize for any concern this may have caused and we hope this clarifies our position. Thank you for your continued support on Power World. Here we go right here where they put out a whole tweet regarding the lawsuit that was filed yesterday by Nintendo of, of Japan. Regarding the lawsuit, yesterday a lawsuit was filed against our company for patent infringement. We have received notice of this lawsuit and we will begin the appropriate legal proceedings and investigations into the claims of patent infringement. At this moment, we are unaware of the, of the specific patents we are accused of infringing upon and we have not been notified of such details. Because all really Nintendo of Japan wants to do is scare you with nonsense with their Pokemon company. Pocket Pair is a small indie game company based in Tokyo. Our goal as a company has always been to create fun games, and you've created a more, way more fun game than Pokemon Company has in the last decade, according, according to a lot of people on Twitter. We will continue to pursue this goal because we know that our games bring joy to millions of gamers around the world. Power World was such a surprise success this year, both for gamers and for us. It's crazy how they put it on Game Pass. These weirdo Sony ponies want to say the Game Pass effect. Meanwhile, loads of people bought this game after they've played it on Game Pass. And I'm sure hundreds of thousands of people still play this game directly off Game Pass. We were blown away by the amazing response to the game and have been working hard to make it even better for our fans. We will continue improving Power World and strive to create a game that our fans can be proud of. It is truly unfortunate that we will be forced to allocate significant time to matters unrelated to game development due to this lawsuit. However, we will do our utmost for our fans and, ensure, and to ensure that game, indie game developers and not, are not hindered or discouraged from pursuing their creative ideas. Basically telling you know, people that Nintendo needs to F off seriously. We, we apologize to our fans and supporters for any worry or discomfort that this news has caused. As always, thank you for your continued support of Power World and Pocket Pair. Let's go ahead and pull this up okay it's just the same thing regarding the lawsuit but here you go power world is continuing to update the game over on the xbox version steam version and things like that they recently put out this xbox hotfix it says we applied a hotfix to a veto bug on the xbox version where wild pals and base pals would sometimes stop moving or working the same issues occurring in the steam version in limited circumstances and we are currently investigating the cause thank you again for your continued support on power world it's absolutely crazy that the developer's pocket pair can give an all F you to Nintendo of Japan and the Pokemon company for trying to falter and disrupt their development of a great of a great game. And they wanna they, they, they are just complete a-holes. Seriously. This is it's absolutely nuts. You know, lawsuits can't stop the hotfixes, says Lethal Lightning. Please don't ever shut the game down. Y'all are killing it. I hope you guys win because the case smells like shouldn't be allowed to be patented BS. 
This is the way. Thank you for all your hard work making such a fun and ever-evolving game. Proud of them for still saying, hey, we're still working on the game, even with a what seems pretty weak lawsuit. It's not the creatures, it's a patent lawsuit for game mechanics. We shall see how it goes. Love your attitude. Like, you have people, loads of people, that are just simply saying, good for you guys. We're, we're happy that you continue to work on the game, despite the fact that the Nintendo of Japan and the Pokemon company want to come after you for weird reasons or weird patents. But it seems that people think that these could possibly be the patents that they're talking about. Again, take this, I'll say this with, a, take this with a grain of salt. It's not 100% confirmed that these are the patents they are you know, going with, that, they're, that they say they're infringing, but we'll get into it. From uh, God's Little Reject says, Nintendo are so infuriated, Power World wasn't able to be charged on design copyright grounds. They created a patent for the game mechanic pointing and aiming a weapon for launch. Specifically, just to sue Power World. Nintendo fans are so stupid, they think it's for trademark infringement. It's absolutely not. It's for patent infringement. Now, again, this person over here, the board bore, says, Everyone talking about the Power World versus Pokemon tobacco. Look here. Pokemon and Nintendo file for patents to the mounting system and to and the throw ball to summon and fight system on May of 2024, which is after Power World launched. This is a very low blow to do. And this person, obviously, community noted themselves, saying these were patents filed in december of 2021 but let's take a look at what this says non-transitionary computer readable storage medium having stored their game program game system information processing apparatus and information processing method in an example of a game program a ground boring boarding target object or an air boarding target object is selected by a selection operation and a player character is caused to board the selected boarding target object so again it's it's uh, programming speak for mounting. If the player character aboard the air boarding target moves toward the ground, the player character is automatically changed to the state where the player character is aboard the ground boarding target object and brought it to the state where the player character can move on the ground. Again, it's just it's just programming speak for mounting. In a first mode, an aiming direction in a virtual space is determined based on a second operation input and a player character's cause to launch in the aiming direction an item that affects a field character disposed on a field in the virtual space based on a third operation input. In a second mode, the aiming direction is determined based on the second operation input and the player character's cause to launch in the aiming direction. A fighting character that... I can't see that. Based on the third operation input. Basically, just aiming and throwing stuff is the layman's terms of what this actually says it's not as complicated as it seems again it's just programming speak and that's all it really says is that the character chooses to aim something somewhere and it throws it when it's just when you're when the player character when the player decides to press a button and throw the object so that's all it really is or it's you know just again hip fire throwing an object or aiming direction throwing an object is what they're saying so these are the Suppose a patent that would reflect the patent infringement that Pokemon companies claiming. Again, take this with a grain of salt. It's not 100% confirmed just yet that this, these are the patents they're you know, going with. But it is still interesting to me that they are going after this indie developer when they're such a they're a multi-billion dollar company. You know, Nintendo is, and they can't just simply make their games better. They have to sort of take out the competition rather than. You know, just making the game better and improving and patching the games that they already have out. So at the end of the day, I hope, honestly, this become, again, becomes a nothing burger. And Pocket Pier continues to develop this game and continues to make a fun game for the fans. And that's all that really matters in the gaming industry. Thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, and returning viewers. If you do like this video, hit the like button. Comment below if you feel about all of this. Subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all. That way you get a notification anytime I post a new video. Go live on this channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.